Hey there! Today I'll show you two new features in Wave, working with slides and creating a webinar. Let's start with the slides. In our streaming studio, you can set up a live stream, pre-record a video or just go to the studio to get to know it better and upload the necessary creatives or music. Let's open the studio. If you want, you can switch to the dark mode. You will see the slides icon at the bottom of the main screen. By clicking on it, you can upload your presentation from your device or, for example, connect the presentation via a Google account. I already uploaded a presentation from my computer. To display the presentation on the screen, hover over the icon at the bottom and press the Show on the Stream button. You can change the size of your file with a simple movement, scroll through the presentation or change its name. You can also navigate to a specific slide using the window with your presentation. Now let's connect the presentation from Google Slides. This time I have a document in horizontal format. By the way, you can add any elements and music during your presentation. It won't be a problem. You can also add yourself or another speaker next to the presentation. Now let's create a webinar page in Web.Video Studio. Go back to My Streams and Recordings and click on Set up Live Stream button. Enter all the necessary details, the name of your future webinar, a good description and also upload a unique cover. Now let's move on to destinations. As you can see, you can choose webinar. You can also add any other platform if you want to broadcast live somewhere else. Now let's move on to the settings. Hover over the blue icon and you will see a drop-down menu where you can customize your webinar page, view it or find a direct link to the webinar. Here we're setting up our landing page where the webinar will be held. As you can see, the name of the webinar and its description are written under the cover. You can also choose the style of your page and change the color to a more appropriate design. Upload the logo if needed and look at the chat settings. If you added any additional destinations for this live, let's say Facebook, so all the comments will be shown on your webinar page chat. Keep it in mind. And the last thing is access. You can set up a password or a specific email address and name if you want your webinar to be private. Here is what your webinar page looks like in a browser. The webinar will start on this page as soon as you start the live broadcast. This is it. Follow us to learn more about our product updates that can transform how you live stream and take your content to the next level. See you in the following videos.